let's look at three soldier and the counterpart of three crow and basically a three green uh, or soldier one would be three green uh, or or white depending on your charting software. But let's say let's basically you've got an upward trend. You've got three long green bars. That's the key thing you're looking for. You've got three long green bars, and they're all consistently all in a row, kind of lined up like little soldiers, right? They're lined up um, like if you have play soldiers or something, and they're all lined up in a row. And it's really showing the continuation of a uptrend. Uh, and really, what you're looking for is that they're longer green bars. And that the consistency part, they're very orderly. It looks like it's they're marching in formation, so to speak, or at least marching upwards in formation. And that's the continuation of the uptrend. That's the indicator that you're looking at. And the stronger that indicator would be is if the top wick, you know, the top part, uh, upper shadow is short. And, and so it's showing that the close is at or near a high. You know, we don't have real long wicks showing that way. Well, it really went up real high, but then it came way back down. This is just a nice orderly, it's just following like little soldiers going right in a pattern going forward. Um, uh, you know, and really the key thing you're looking at in a soldier pattern is that it's consistent. You know, both these patterns you're looking for these kind of consistent looking bars, not a lot up and down, just real orderly. And so that shows a strong indicator the trend is going to continue and go in that same direction. Now it could be going the opposite direction, a downward direction, and then we'd be looking at three crows and those are candlesticks would be red or again depending on your trading platform could be black either way it's going to be the opposite of something that's trending up you know we're looking at three red bars and they're going to be the same thing you're looking at longer red bars you're not looking at dojis or very small real bodies you're looking at you know really good kind of consistent long red bars again all consistently in a row uh you know less like the soldier pattern are called crows because they're I guess because they're going downward, so decide to be a crow. And it's going to be a continuation of the, of the downtrend. You're looking at it and say, yep, prices are going to keep going down. I see these three red crows. They're marching in nice, you know, orderly fashion. I'm going to, you know, then trade accordingly around that. And so the stronger the, the indicator would be if the bottom wick is short, you know, so that's showing uh, where the closes are at or already near the low. They're not going way, way down. And, and certainly there's no real long upper wick trying to drive highs. They're real consistent. Uh, red bars going in the same direction. In this case, for a crow, they'd be red and prices would be following, but you wouldn't have a long wick at the bottom. So the shorter the wick, the better the indicator. And again, looking for both these patterns, what you're really looking for is that there's consistency. And it's really, that's why the, the number three is important there because two can give you an idea or something like that, but you start getting three and they're all consistent like that, then that's a real you know, really proven kind of pattern out there. Nothing's perfect, of course, but a real proven pattern showing that uh, we're we're moving in a direction either as a sol either with the soldiers going upwards in a trend, and that's going to continue, or with the crows going downward in a trend. So look for these chart patterns.